Okay, for this video, we will do an integral battle. The first one is the integral of secant to the fourth power x, and the second one is the integral of tangent to the fourth power x. Of course, you should try these two questions first, but anyway, though, we'll do it together if you don't want to try it on your own. <laughs> anyway, for the first one, integral of secant to the fourth power. Well, to do this, this is the same as integral of secant squared x times secant squared x dx. This way, you can see that we can use the identity. The first secant squared x is the same as tangent squared x plus 1, and then we still have the secant squared x dx, right? This is so nice because we can do a use up let u equal to tangent x, and we can see that du is equal to secant squared x dx. Now, we can take this integral to the u world, we just have to integrate u squared plus 1 du, right? So the result for that is going to be 1 over 3 u, which is the tangent, and then the third power, and then the x. And then integrate 1 in the u world is u, so we just have to add u, which is tangent, x and then we are all done so don't forget the plus c even though we cannot see so this right here is it now for the integral of tangent to the fourth power x this right here check this out what we can do right here is we write this as the integral tangent to the fourth power is the same as tangent square square and we can look at the inside as tangent square is the same as secant square x minus one and then square that dx why do we want to do that Yes, we can actually just multiply this out. Integral, and then we get secant to the fourth power x, and then minus 2 secant squared x, and then plus 1, and then the dx, right? Well, now we can just integrate them term by term. For the first one, don't we know the answer already? It's right there. Have a look, right? And uh, this right here <laughs> is equal to 1 over 3 tangent to the third power x plus tangent x. And then minus 2 secant square x, the integral for that is just minus 2 tangent x. And then plus 1 in the x world is just plus x, right? Very nice. I haven't put on the plus c yet because I want to combine terms. So this right here is equal to 1 third tangent to the third power x. Here we have plus tangent x and then minus 2 tangent x, so we have minus tangent x and then plus x and then lastly plus c. And of course, even though we cannot see, put on the box anyway, and then plus C. This is it. The box, man. What happened to the box? I shouldn't have put on the box. <laughs> I think the box ruined everything, otherwise it would be Almost perfect, huh? You know, what happened to the gap, I have no idea, but... Yeah, pretty good, I will say. Alright.